when you play D1 football, you, you are, are you, is it possible for you to get drafted or do you know you're going to be drafted? Are you talking about me? Yeah. Did I have a draft party, Brian? Do you ask? Did I have a draft party with my best friend, Joe Clavenstein? He got drafted. He got and drafted. I waited around. Is that what you're Wait, saying? So, so. And I couldn't watch the draft for, I don't know, five to six so years? So your whole life has so been I'd football. I cry every draft? Is that what you're referring to? Oh, my God. People don't realize the kind of shit. It's okay to fail. Explain this. So you, no, it's you not. played football for 14 years. <laughs> yep. And this is your dream to play mm -hmm. in the NFL. Mm -hmm. And there's no question. I've talked to guys who, who played in the NFL said you were good enough to play for sure. I've mm -hmm. uh, a guy from Denver yep. who's, yep. you know, they've said you were good enough to play. No Thanks. question, right? Sources. Uh -huh. So, so, so you. Thought I was going to go. You did. Had a, had a great pro day. Great oh, pro you did. Day. Number of scouts talking. You to went me. to the co combine. We went to the pro day, not the co actual combine. Okay, so what's the so what's the, the combine where they invite? I forget how many players, like seventy five of the top top. Oh, okay. I, f I forget how many they invite. That's where those boys, most of them, are getting drafted. That's the cream of the crop. Yeah. And then they have pro day where some late round draft picks and like some free agents will get picked up there. Okay, pro. I, day. I tore it up in the pro day. One of the best pro days. I mean, tore really it, tore it up. Just you did everything that was asked of you. Did my job. You did your job. And then some. Okay, so now, and as as a tight end? Tight end, yeah. Okay, so now, back. So, so go from there. So then I was like, man, it looks like I have a pretty good shot because these agents are telling me, like, you know, the Buffalo Bills and the Raiders. I'm like, shit, I'd, I'd be a Raider, you know? And, yeah. You know, so we thought, uh. so then draft day, I thought there's a chance, you know, and then. You're weighing, you're weighing your, your football weight. 260. Oh, you're a big kid, okay. 260. And then so, draft day. Around a 468. Not bad. Fast. 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 So, so, draft day. Yeah. Y your son at four is faster than... He's faster than me. He's so fast. So fast. My son went, my son who's eight goes, you're really fast. I think my son was trying to keep, I mean... And what's Tiger say? It's he just genetics. And Tiger goes, I'm the fast boy in the world. It's genetics. He just started yeah. saying that out of nowhere, going, I'm the fast boy I want to get world. back to this, right. but very quickly, did you, did you, did you give Frank Grillo a blowjob? Because I'll tell you what he said last night about you. What? Like I, I don't Frank know where he goes. He goes. He goes. I love that guy. Oh, I love. Frank. He goes. I love him. Yeah, I mean, like, you I have love a deep him. love. For and he each go, other. pointed to his chest. He goes. Like I get that dude. Mm -hmm. Like he's he's. I just love. Yeah, him. I mean, Frank connect. And then he went on. And I'm like, I'm like, the I fuck love did Frank. you guys do? Oh, I love Frank. You guys connect. I always defend Frank. Yeah, you Frank. guys connected. It was it was hilarious. I was like, the fuck did I miss? <laughs> fuck did I miss here? Now here's the bummer. Frank's yeah. gonna replace you on the. Show. I knew it. I fucking <laughs> knew it. It was like, it was literally like, I was like, dude, the, how long are you going to go on about fucking Brendan, you know? I love And Frank. he's like, I get it. I get you guys. You guys are like, he had some, some, I don't know what the fuck we were. We were like a symbiote. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. I wish I could drink with you guys, man, at night. Ah, fuck. It'd be the best. You should come down. You should come down. You should come down. And, and have a meal. We in order Venice? out from a in place Venice? like Via Venator or Scopa. Yeah. And you should come and sit and just I have a Venice. fucking conversation. I know. It's really cool. And he's got a great pad. Does he? He's got a great fucking place. Now, forget all that. Talking about the draft. So go back to the draft. So now you're waiting. And and you're waiting to hear are you where are you? Uh the draft party is at Joe Kloffenstein's house. So you had a draft party. And Joe, we know. Well, Joe, go. Joe, Joe, it was Joe's draft party, but we thought maybe there's but he was he was picked in the first. Would you get a call on your cell phone? Yeah. Is that how it worked? So you're waiting on your phone. I can't remember. <clears throat> uh, does everyone have service here? Everyone goes, full bars went. Yeah, me too. All right. <laughs> And the phone never, the phone never fucking rang. Never, Brian. Well, it never rang. It never rang. And then, probably a week, week and a half, they go, uh, or uh, probably two weeks later, they go, "Hey, the Bills, let me give you a shot. Fly up there, but we have to do is, you know, they're bringing like six guys, so that you gotta fly up there." And my dad's like, "Buffalo Bills." I said, "Papa, I know how this works, man. This is such a." They're bringing me in as a body because somebody got hurt or something like that. It's so far-fetched. I'm going to make the team. Don't get your hopes up. He's like, yeah, no doubt. Dad buys Buffalo Bill jerseys. There's a <laughs> Buffalo Bill flag outside the house. Hey, Dad's a great guy. Drops me off at the airport. He's like, you're doing it, man. I was like, and I knew. I was like, because I know. I'm like, I, yeah, I'm doing it, man. I knew, man. I knew. I get there and it just breaks your heart. Breaks your heart? Oh, it's your dude. whole life. Oh, and then... Especially and then, when you well, know you're as good as those guys. Well, yeah. Well, but then, right, swallow the pill. Well, obviously, that shit's that's not going to happen for you. So then I wanted to support my best friend Joe. His first game, him starting in the NFL at tight end as a rookie for the St. Louis Rams. I fly out there. He gets us, you know, we're, we're sitting with his family. And they, they announce his name. And I started crying. <laughs> crying. Bawling, crying. Because I didn't make it. 
I was I, happy for him, I but I also feel like I've it been be, there. I dude. was. I, I've not. I'm talking. Not in grown sports. man uncontrollably not in crying sports. I've as they been played there. the Minnesota Vikings. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, it's only your whole life, and, and then it's my, only your and whole then life. Shark eyes, doll, doll spawn. My brother goes, "Yeah, it must be tough." You know, he's just not. <laughs> what are you gonna do? What are you gonna fucking do? We, girls would hug each other and cry. Dudes, I don't know what to do. Uh, dude, you know, I'm like, out, bro. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, rub uh, dirt on it. But it's your whole fucking life. Yeah, and it, you it know, isn't. It isn't. You no, think I, it's well, back life. then when yeah, you were younger, for sure. I mean, tough go, dude. You want to hear something? Like this is going to sound. This is nothing compared to it. But I, 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 I understand what it's like to really want something. Obviously, in my career and all that. But when I was a wrestler in high school, my senior year, I went to the all to the New Englands, and I was supposed to win the New Englands. It's my division. I'm supposed to win. I I lost by a point to a kid who ended up going on to win i shouldn't have lost so i have to go into so now i get a bronze medal because i go into he's gonna you know you're in the losers bracket yeah, yeah yeah and um i don't think i've ever cried that hard to this day high school though i, I understand I'm, yeah. I'm just saying uh, i cried high school i'm sure. just saying that for me for me at the time at yeah. 18 wrestling was everything and it was I, I, I it was everything to me it was the only the first time i i felt like i had a sports victory of that kind right and I, I was supposed to win, set it up. So I can't imagine. I, I can't imagine. Then you go another four years where it's your career, and then it just doesn't happen. But then, I mean, you th you think I'm an athlete, but then you see these draft picks. Like there's this kid. It might have been Tampa Bay who drafted him for Tom Brady, obviously to protect Tom Brady. He played. He was a, a center or tackle at Iowa. They showed this kid. He's six eight, three hundred sixty pounds. <laughs> He ran a four eight in the forty or some shit like this. So stupid. Oh, and he, oh oh he wrestled undefeated state champ. What? He he snatched four hundred fifty pounds four times. It's a record in Iowa. What is this guy? I forget. I'm just looking up tallest NFL player. Oh, uh, definitely don't do that, Richard. You're not gonna. No, I'm just curious. Oh, I'm not looking him up. Um, yeah. If you, if you go to I Iowa draft pick two 2020 Iowa draft pick, he I think he was a center stud though. But they show when you, they show their credentials, or the Simmons, the kid from Clemson, got drafted. Before he even played a down of varsity football, he had a scholarship offer from Clemson as a sophomore, and he he didn't play his his sophomore year because he wanted to focus on basketball. What the fuck, man? Tristan Wirfs, um, thirteenth pick. I think that's him. Just a fucking freak, man. And then some of these guys, you watch them run, you're like, yeah, that's him. Yeah, I mean, His daddy died when he was eight in a car wreck. Oh. Yeah, sad, man. This kid's just a freak. Then they show the highlight video, like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I mean, that's just a different... Like, that kid from Clemson ran like a... He ran, he's he's two six five three 320 pounds. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. He ran a 4'8". Four four remember when uh, Refrigerator Perry, I remember when he was 300 pounds and nobody could believe how big he they was. They called him the refrigerator. Yeah. He wouldn't now, be shit in today's I day. know. But that Simmons kid for Clemson, he ran a 4'3". A He's 240 pounds, running a 4-3. He's played cornerback, linebacker, safety, and they go, hey, you're kind of a tweener. So do you know, like when you get to the NFL, you know what position you're going to play? He looks at the camera and goes, defense. Defense. I play defense. Like, Jesus Christ. Just a stud, man. I mean. And then there's one kid. You're one, small. One, one, oh, I'm, dude, I'm, yeah, I'm a fucking gremlin compared to them. But then they, there's another kid who's both, his mom and dad both ran track. Oh, what's that? Both Olympians. So, of course, he's... I wonder if there's any genetics there. I wonder if he's got some fast-twitch muscle there. <clears throat> well, that's amazing. What's amazing to me, too, is because, you know, usually the draft's a big deal, and you're in, you, it's usually in New York or Chicago, and the, the whole crowd and fans go nuts. But now it's FaceTime, so it's just them and their family. Joe, Bur Joe Burrow, who got draft number one, he's just like... What did he, he's a quarterback? Quarterback? He's the best quarterback. Had the best season of all time out of any quarterback right in college no. history. Really? You want, you, really? He's, a, he's a fascinating guy. Here's, here, are what else is? Well, I'll get off the draft nuts after this, but I've never been more excited for a draft because I have nothing to do. Let but I watched two on fourteen draft the other night. Yeah, all seven rounds. Here's the thing though. Uh, Joe Burrow. Here's what's interesting. Joe Burrow, Chase Young, Jeff Oduka. Uh, see those three guys? Yeah. You know what? They're all on the same team. They all went to Ohio State. Wow. Jeff Burrow originally went to Ohio State, was third string, was like, fuck this, transferred. He transferred to LSU. LSU, had a decent season, the first one. Then the second season, where you know he's the number one pick, 
best season of all time by, uh, by a quarterback. He just figured something out. He figured something out. Something clicked. You know what's interesting? When he's <clears throat> leaving Ohio State, his, all his family okay, played. All his family played at Nebraska. His dad, his uncle. They asked Nebraska Scott Frost. God, did he fuck up the oh hey. Joe Burrows is leaving Ohio State. Joe Burrow, he he wants to go to Nebraska. His family went there. Do you want him? And Scott Frost went, nah, I don't think he's that good. Joe Burrow went, cool, I'm going to go to LSU That's him? and win a Heisman Trophy. That's him. Fuck. They're very chill. That's incredible. Look at him. Dude, um, you're the first pick of the draft. You know what he's thinking, though? <laughs> now i got to produce. There's a lot of pressure. Oh, he had pressure at this LSU, though. Man. Yeah. The greatest season of all time. And that's what he's made for. He's so goddamn good. And then the why, kid why everybody was Roger about, Goodell make forty million dollars a year? I don't understand. Because his why wouldn't he? Well, his league makes how much money? But what and he's does the he president. do? He's the president. He's the president. Why is the what you know? Why does Bill Gates make so much okay. money? Why, you know, so he's, he's the like president. The CEO of he's the CEO. It makes some hard decisions. Oh, though. I got you. All right. People hate him. They hate him because of the CTE stuff. Or? I just, well, they hid that right. They're just you know. I mean, you know, look. You want to watch this one? It's actually pretty sure, cool. I'd like to. Hello. Congratulations, Sam. We're going to turn the cards, make you the number one pick, and make you the Cincinnati Bengals. Appreciate that, Coach. Ready to go. Excited about it. Hello? He, he's That's a, pretty cool, He's a pretty, uh, ready to go, Coach. Number one pick. Very cool. Anyway, uh, got stuff to do. What's crazy about him is before the national championship, they're doing the, or I'm sorry, they beat, I, I forget, they beat, I think they destroyed Oklahoma, right, to get to the national championship, and then he's running out of the tunnel, and they get an interview, and they go, real quick, so you're playing uh, Clemson in the finals, you know, and you know how do you think you do? He goes, "Oh, we we've, we've already won." Yeah, <laughs> Did that guy. Oh, he, he's, oh, that's he the guy. So he's he's he cocky, cocky as fuck. Well, he's cocky, but he, oh, we've already won. He's such a he's such a beast. And how about when he got to LSU? They asked him about football. He goes, "I am football." <laughs> All right, fucking. I am football. He went, that's his famous pick. quote. I am football. You need to have that kind of confidence, I think. Yeah, people you. hate it, but it's like, dude, to, for try being for try being a quarterback to, before you say that. Try being a quarterback with all that pressure. Oh, who, who uh, who's, our, who's our boy we had on? Uh, remember he came on, uh, f hilarious comedian, plays mainly black crowds, but white guy. We oh, love yeah. Gary, um, um, Gary Owen. Owen. Gary Owen. Yeah. Gary Owen goes. God, <laughs> such a great tweet. He goes, God damn it! Only four white guys were drafted in the first round. We got to step it up, guys. <laughs> 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 Four white guys only, and they're all quarterbacks, probably. Uh, no, I think only one was a quarterback. The rest were uh, like linemen. Yeah, yeah. O, o linemen. O linemen. O linemen. But black guys are not faster than white guys. Uh, you know, it's, it's so interesting. But how interesting is it that the top three picks all played on the same I'm team? I'll tell you this right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch your tone. Uh, okay. What's going to happen? What are you going to do? Use some of that. <laughs> Boxing you've been doing? Don't <laughs> <laughs> oh, you fucking disrespect. <laughs> hey. Hey.